Looks like they have the same logos on their ball caps. I'll enhance that. Enhance. 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 Freeze and enhance. Finally, I can use this meme properly because today we are covering image super resolution or what people call image upscaling. I've already stressed this before in the last video upscaling video, but let's rewind real quick. Upscaling and video upscaling relies on slightly different techniques. This is because a video contains more information than a single image, since a video upscaler can refer to the previous frame and the next frame to create a more accurate upscaling, while image upscaling cannot do this. And yes, exactly. Logically, image upscaling should perform worse than video upscaling, however, I am limit testing this brand new image super resolution paper called a real ESR GAN, which is a follow up of the original ESR GAN by the same author. I'll be comparing it to arguably the current best video upscaler on the commercial AI tools market which is from Topaz AI Lab and let's get started. For those anime fans like me, we are in for a treat. Real ESR GAN is capable of enhancing details while removing the noisy compression artifacts around low resolution illustrations while reinforcing the lines and cleanse the filled color. The same thing will work on real world images such as signs or any place where there are texts on it. Even artificial details are well generated when needed. Geometric patterns on the brick wall are slightly more organized than others. Animal furs are a lot more detailed compared to older research. The synthesized details of the leaves on the tree are unusually clear, but it looks pretty real. I assume these official results were all run on the same 4x upscale model because that's the available one currently. And the author promised that they would add more upscale models specific to anime, text, human faces, or natural patterns and different magnifications. So the better stuff has yet to come, and this is just the beginning. To abuse this image upscaling function, I've run it through videos to conduct useful research while comparing it to Topaz Video Upscaler. I used 720p as my source, which was downscaled from 1080p. The major drawback of real ESR GAN is that the current strength is uncontrollable. I noticed that in some deliberately blurred backgrounds, the AI would still process the details heavily, ruining minor details which would not have been touched on typical images or other super resolution AIs. It might be the lack of depth awareness, but you can say real ESR GAN Again, it's just doing what it was told to do. So when the characters are really tiny, the enhancement made it really awkward looking, similar to a blob of paint instead of a clearer character silhouette. The same goes for mid-range facial details. When the anime source is blurry or lack details on purpose, the generated result would be pretty distorted. I also tried upscaling older animes too, which in my opinion worked a lot better than upscaling newer animes. Since the source is in lower resolution too, the Cowboy Bebop OP has a lot of geometric drawings which works in favor of real ESR GAN. Text does look a bit weird, but it's definitely better than any other current techniques. One thing that still persists is the bad quality edges that the character has. Even when running through Waifu 2X, which is another image upscaling AI, it does not get any better, so it's safe to say real ESR GAN is better in this case. Other weaknesses such as oversimplification are pretty common too. This is especially obvious when you test it on real world low resolution footage. It loses too many details and it just shows how this model of real ESR GAN is focusing on solutions for clearing artifacts in bicubic images, which is perfect for upscaling old animes, but it does not work well on upscaling very low resolution footage. So yeah, any noise similar to artifacts would be removed in the upscaling process, creating a paint over effect on the image itself. This produces a cleaner result that other super resolution AIs would not be able to do. The other major weakness is that it's not optimized as a video upscaler, so the time it takes to render is much longer than Topaz. Something that Topaz can complete in 1 hour, real ESR GAN would probably need 5 hours at least. Overall, image super resolution may work well in some cases, but not necessarily all the time. Real ESR GAN is a prime example of a super good image super resolution that has the worst performance at the same time. But this does mark a pretty good starting point for a new generation of anime upscaling with its top tier by cubic simplification. To smooth out those ugly low resolution artifacts or synthesizing small complex complex visual details. However, it can easily ruin a lot of individual frames or artistic details, so I beg you kids not to spam anime openings on YouTube just because you can claim it to be 4K with a new and better anime upscaler now. If you want to test real ESR GAN out, I'll link my tutorial in the description. If you want to learn more about how real ESR GAN was able to achieve this, please refer to their official paper. And if you want to learn more about AI applications or use machine learning practically, today's sponsor Skillshare actually has 
has it for you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can freely explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and have fun with your creativity. And what I'm referring from the start is this data science and machine learning with Python hands-on by Frank Kane, which is a really good AI ML application course. Not only can we learn about machine learning practically with Python, it's also a great starting point alongside what I usually do on my channel. You can also pick up Python or other programming courses on Skillshare if that's what interests you. The lessons aren't that long either, so you can easily go through them during your free time. They are also providing a limited time offer of one month free premium trial instead of the usual two weeks. So even if you're done with that class, you can also check out their other amazing ad-free and high-quality creative classes like photography, illustrations, and video editing. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. As usual, thank you for watching. Big thanks to Bubble Mint for helping me with this video and a big shout out to Andrew and many other patrons and members that support my work through Patreon and YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord too. Follow my Twitter if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.